have what I think is a lovely, fun little car coming round. And the ladies here, I'm sure most of the ladies here, particularly the children, the little children in the front, will love this car. It's a Fiat 500. Have a look at this. Isn't this fantastic? Come on, give her a big round of applause as she drives her all one girly in her beautiful Fiat 500. You know, the Italians have made some of the most beautiful cars in the world, and they're generally a lot more expensive, as you know, Ferrari, and uh, you probably need, uh, you know, you probably keep in a hotel room in, in Rome, Naomi can be and Claudia Schieffer, if they're on your, uh, in the bar, in the hotel, be cheaper, keep them for a year, than run some of the more expensive Italian cars. Anyway, let's go down to Owen and see how she acquired this lovely little beautiful car. Tell us the background to it, Owen. Um, well, basically, I bought it three years ago from a guy called Harvey Mitchell, who's here today. And um, But basically, it was with a, a family from 1972 to 2002. So it was with family at that, that time, you know. And um, have, have had lots of fun with it. Um, <coughs> you, used to do, you used to drive this as your normal daily car, is it? Car. This is my first car. I love classic cars. I think I got that from my dad. But um, What sort of a car did he got? Uh, he has an old um, Morris Oxford one stage. Uh, Morris Miners. A few different, different cars. And what attracted you to the little <coughs> Fiat 500? Um, I've just always loved Fiat 500s, like, and I like, my mum had a Fiat 850 one stage, but I lo always loved the shape of them, and thought, thought I wouldn't mind them myself one day. And tell us about the colour. Um, <laughs> it's pink. <laughs> um, uh, oh, oh. Yeah, well, okay, tell us the background of that. It was originally blue, apparently, but um, when I got it, it, it was pink. <laughs> yeah. And had you looked at other Fiat 500s prior to this one? Yeah, I had seen quite a few, but um, this was the first one that I'd seen kind of right-hand drive. But um, I saw it on, it was advertised in the Car Buyer's Guide. I was always going on about them, uh, about them and a mate of mine said, <coughs> look up at the Car Buyer's Guide, there's one there at the moment. And lo and behold. <laughs> and is it expensive to maintain and to keep it to run? No. Um, it's, it's, no, it, it's, it's been quite good, like, but um, just a few bits and pieces, like, but... It doesn't cost much, like that. you can fill up the petrol tank and it's like 20 euro to fill up the petrol tank and uh, get a few miles out of it. Right, and how many do you know are in Ireland, Fiat 500s? Um, there seems to be quite a few. I, I don't know how many now, but I've seen about a good maybe 10 cars or so around, <coughs> around the country. But, um, Okay, isn't it a lovely... Uh, would you recommend this car for ladies here today? What, what, what were just strong points? Why would you recommend the Fiat 500? Um, well, it, it, it's um, just great fun. And um, it would kind of... I think it would be great for the speed situation here now in, in, in Ireland. That uh, you wouldn't be going over 65 now or anything on the... On the <laughs> okay, well, once again, thank you to Alwyn Dooley. And again, could I ask you to put your hands together for Alwyn? It's a beautiful, beautiful little Fiat uh, 500. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, we have another six cars in about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Thank you for your time. Have a look around some of the stands of the other cars, and we'll be back to you in about 20, 25 minutes. <laughs>